think I ruffled a lot of feathers in the uh, Ritalin user community. Uh, gave a little challenge to uh, Stephen Colbert and his uh, sheep. And I'm not going to read all this off. I'll link to where it's at. It's the pinned comment over at Old Fart Rants Debunked. So uh, let me read off. I'll just start here near the end. Tell me why, Stephen Colbert. Why can I find as many states as I can with good county-level data and many Republican-leaning states that have high homicide rates? Oddly, those counties where they have issues are counties where Democrats dominate. Jurisdictions such as Tennessee, Georgia, Arkansas, and Missouri all have higher-than-average homicide rates. Yet the counties in those states that pull up the average are the diverse counties that are Democrat-dominated. Those states also have stratospheric relative to their percentage of the population. Stratospheric black-on-black -black homicide rates. The uber-white pro-Trump counties have homicide rates typically lower. See what I said and wrote about Nevada. The uber-white pro-Trump counties have homicide rates typically lower than the national average, typically lower than the state average, and much lower than the homicide rates in those uber-Democrat counties in a given state. And usually it's 60% or more, unless the person won the state like... Uh, Arkansas and Missouri, Trump won by such a large march, and I went with the 66% or more for him. States like Minnesota that have low homicide rates overall have a few problem areas, <coughs> twin cities, that are run by Democrats. The uber-Trump, uber-white counties in Minnesota have homicide rates much lower than the national average, much lower than the state average, and much, 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 much lower than the average outside the Twin Cities. The story is the same for Wisconsin and New Jersey. Illinois has a high homicide rate, yet the uber-Trump, uber-white counties have homicide rates much lower than the Illinois average, much lower than the national average, and much lower than the Illinois average outside of the problem areas, Chicago and East St. Louis. Can you guess which political party has run East St. Louis and Chicago into the ground? I won't hold my breath. Pennsylvania has a high homicide rate, yet bleh can't even talk, rate, yet the uber-white counties that supported Donald Trump in high margins have homicide rates way below the Pennsylvania average, wash, rinse, repeat, way below the national average and much, much, much lower than the average in the problem areas of Pennsylvania, that's Philadelphia County and Pittsburgh. Those problem areas have sky-high homicide rates, lots of lots of black-on-black -black homicide. Here's my challenge to Miss Colbert and his sheeple. Find me as many states as you can with good county-level homicide data and show me as many states as you can where the mostly white Trump-supporting counties have homicide rates higher than the average in that particular state, as well as homicide rates higher than the national average and homicide rates higher than, than the counties that were dominated by Democrats. The next time you hear Stephen Colbert whine and cry about white rage, white supremacy, and when he says that, when he says insurrection, it means white people. Or insurrection, you can point out to him that if he's worried about violence in America, he needs to be pointing the finger at a particular Democrat constituency, although that margin seems to be eroding somewhat, thank God, and many jurisdictions run by the Democrat Party. Steph, it's your voters, little man. Your party, your people are the most violent segment of society, not those flag-waving Donald Trump supporters. Don't forget... Black, hashtag Black Lives Matter, hashtag say their names. So, uh, that's, uh, I've got a few people angry, you know, they have quite the hissy fit over that. So find me those counties, find those states, and you got to show your work like I did. Good luck. Oh, you will need it.